really is no good way for me to show you just how ginormous these pants are, but that's my door. And they are literally the same length as my door. So Extendo Pant and I, hello Extendo Pant, wanted to um, welcome you guys to my brand new channel. Welcome to my new channel. I'm so excited to have one. It's been quite of a long process in the making, to be honest with you guys, because a lot of crazy things happened, but we're here now, we're doing it, and Let It Rain is back, and I'm so excited to be back. I actually shot a lot of the footage for this video, this is my husband's shirt, by the way, for this video, like, more than a month ago. So it's gonna be a bit cut and paste, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, just a disclaimer before my video starts, and people start to say that I copied Sophia's idea, I would just like to point out that I came up with this idea on the 8th of July, so please don't kill me, bye! Hey there guys and dolls, it's Rain here. So have I got a video for you. About a week ago, um, I stumbled upon this article saying that there were these extra long jeans and that sounded ridiculous to me. And then I looked them up and they were 500 US dollars. That's like $683.25 Aussie which is ridiculous, like, I, that's more than my rent for jeans. So, and I, when I looked them up, they were just literally like three pairs of jeans sewed together. And I was like, I can totally do that. I can do that in like one day. So I decided to do that. And I have a long history of making things that I think are too expensive for way, way less. Here's an example worn by my beautiful friend Casey. She and her girlfriend wanted to get these really cute bralette things and I was like, those are literally pieces of string. I could probably make that out of a bunch of bra straps. So I took it upon myself to make them out of tape and yarn and literally I made a $40 bra for like two bucks. I set myself a task to see whether I could make these for like less than $15. And lo and behold, I managed to do it for about $10. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So step one was actually going to like get some pants. So Alex and I went over to our local Salvos, which is like our Salvation Army thrift store. And Alex and I know how to work sales, so in the end, the pants cost us all together like nine dollars. So it was really good. It's got quite long legs, so I think we can we can make something happen. So unfurl them. What does knife belong? Um. Alex is five ten, so like almost two Alexes. That's kind of terrifying. So I think we might have enough jean. So much jean that I can't get it all in one shot. But that was a very successful trip. There's Alex. We will be going home so I can start snippity snipping these jeans up. So Alex and I just got home and we got Domino's on the way. And show us your cheese. Just, just, oh, here, this is the bone camera. But in real life, the cheese looks like it's like a neon glow in the dark green. What are they trying to do to you? They're trying to make you stand out. Well, you might stand up in space. Now the second step was to actually cut the jeans up, which was easier said than done. Because I realized that in the end, all the pairs of jeans I had had different kind of like measurements. I didn't check for those things, so I had to kind of MacGyver it a little bit. But in the end, I think we turned up with something pretty nice. So I didn't use any precise measurements. I just kind of made assumptions of where the short parts of the jeans ended so I could kind of salvage the top of it for shorts. I drew some lines with some white crayon and then I just cut them up with kitchen scissors because my normal scissors almost broke in the process of trying to cut through jeans. So I have laid out the pants top to end and they look ridiculous. They're so long that my long carpet looks tiny. Um, so I can imagine how the original creators of this pants feel, but they obviously felt like it was good enough to charge $500 for it. So maybe that's what I should do it. Maybe when I finish this video, anybody want to buy some my DIY custom $500 pants. I'm about to start hot glue gunning it. I was contemplating sewing it, but I really couldn't be bothered. So we're gonna have to test out whether the integrity of the whole structure is gonna work too. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I have hot glued, ignore those hot glue sticks. I have hot glued the seam on the front of these together. So I'm gonna have to like hot glue around this to try and get rid of those edges, but it's happening. It's more work than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would just be like, you know, wham bam, thank you ma'am. But, no. And then I have to hot glue these bits, which are also different sizes. So I should have thought about this more carefully, but it's gonna happen. The nine foot long pants are gonna happen. To sew all the edges together, well, sew, I mean, glue all the edges together, I've actually had to like cut these like triangular shapes to meet up with the tops of these. So that when I glue it together, 
they like sit right in the right place. But yes, it's happening. Okay, we are an hour in now. I have flipped my jeans around. I'm about to sew down this whole back section, which is obviously not as neat as the front. I mean, this is a little bit wonky and there's some weird cutouts there. Um, I think they're coming along pretty good. I'm pretty excited to see what they look like. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, my DIY nine foot pants are now all bonded, bonded together. I have a very curvy figure, so they might look a lot different once I put them on, but right now they look pretty impressive. Um, and they are stuck together really well. Like, I'm pretty impressed that this is just hot glue. Like literally, my hot glue gun's there, and I didn't even have a normal hot glue, so I had to use glow in the dark hot glue gun stick, so maybe the seams will glow in the dark. I don't know. I might just leave these here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe they'll be like an extra big Santa sock. Honestly, I'm pretty delighted with them. Uh, I kind of feel like a ninja slash, you know, a very, very clumsy mermaid. And by the way, trying to wrench them up or scrunch them up, like the guy in the photo, was more exercise than actually walking around in the jeans just in general. the only way I can show you like how big these are. I'm pretty small. Like I'm 5'2 in a bit and these jeans, these jeans are 9 feet. Like, like literally. <laughs> They're like a friend. Hi, how you doing? For what it is, I'm really impressed that my hot gluing is like really holding it together. It's kind of like an elaborate scarf. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, to be honest, because I don't have a lot of, like, use for... I don't even wear jeans. I'm not a jeans person. So... Oh. Maybe it's, like, to make my marriage better. Like, Alex can wear one side and I can wear the other. And it would just keep us close. And because we're two idiots wearing jeans as a scarf, nobody else will try to get in between our marriage. So this is the very first video on my brand new channel. So welcome to my new channel, guys. Um, it's exactly the same channel. It's very hard for me to explain what happened, but it's time to start again, and here we are. I hope you guys liked that video, and if you want to see me do more things like that, I actually, when I was doing the research for this video, saw this pair of shorts stuck to another pair of shorts, and I'm contemplating doing that with the scraps that I had from this video. So let me know if you'd like to see that, and I will totally whip that up for you. These are all my social media handles, so click, 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 click. If you like this video, like the video, and if you want to see more of these things from me, subscribe. And if you want to be the first to see what I do, click that little bell icon at the top. I'll see you guys next week.